dubious ones welcome back to the channel for some more dragon ball sparking zero right now we're gonna go take a look at this super and movies character trailer so without further ado let's get right into it now unfortunately due to copyright obviously i cannot play the sound because they have some awesome music playing in this and unfortunately i can't share that with you but let me know, or let me tell you that it's pretty awesome. He's not done yet. God, this game looks beautiful. God to God, Goku and Beerus. He's a forest soldier. Hilarious. Beautiful. Oh, this game just looks so pretty. We've got Zamasu. I love the destruction of the environments. We got Trunks, not my favorite version of Trunks by far. I always thought he looked way cooler. I'm um, in the original Z series when he first came back. And we got a little bit of Ultra Instinct Goku. Oh, look at that. And then we're getting Kaba, Frost, Topo, God of Destruction. That's going to be one of my favorite characters. I love that ultimate. That is so pretty. Kaba Super Saiyan. Kaba Super Saiyan 2. Boom. Oh, look at that Ultra Instinct. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And we're getting Goku Team. With a beautiful Ozaru Fist. Really, really beautiful stuff. This game just looks so beautiful. Like, lots of powerful opponents is right, Goku. Oh, we got Brawly. Brawly. So I love that we're getting the movie characters. This is fun. Lots of fun. Brawly Z and the Super Saiyan. And then, of course, you've got the legendary Super Saiyan. Oh, and like, look at this. It's just gorgeous. Gohan and Brawly going at it. We got Goten helping out for the Super Kamehameha. Dun, dun. Yeah, I wish I could play the audio for this, but copyright won't allow for it. Oh, Cooler looks great. The destructive environments are so pretty. Cooler in his final form. I really think they outdid themselves with this game. Like, it looks... Just absolutely breathtaking. Metal Cooler looks badass, if I do say so. Android 13, loving it. As I mentioned in the roster reveal, not crazy about his ultimate form. Super Garlic Jr. Beautiful. Dr. Wheelo. Boom. Lord Slug. Those of us Xenoverse 2 fans are very familiar with Lord Slug playing a big role in that game. Perlis. The fruit of the tree of might shall be yours. He now has no equal. Oh, look at that. Look at that animation, chat. I'll slow down and rewind some of these after, but God, it looks so pretty. Full power Bojack. Ah, oh, these ultimates, man, I'm telling you. Harutagon! Ooh. Get back, Trunks. Tapion. And Janemba. That stage looks cool. I don't think we've seen that before. It looks nice. Super Janemba. Super Gogeta Z. One of my favorite characters in the entire series. He's going to destroy you. Ha! Sparking Zero. Budokai Takaichi returns. Telling you guys. This game just looks absolutely gorgeous. Breathtaking stuff. 
But I definitely want to take a look at some of these animations. First of all, we've got a random Frieza Force soldier, and even he looks so cool. I like the scouter. I know there's going to have some customizable stuff where you can change, like, and add, you know, stuff like scouters and stuff to them, um, a little bit of customization. I think it's going to be cool to see if you can put on different pieces of armor onto different characters, um, give different looks to people, give them scouters, take scouters off. I think that's pretty neat. But I think even he looks pretty cool. Of course, Golden Frieza looks great. You got Goku and his Whis gear. And then we go Fusamasu. I'm looking forward to seeing Goku Black. Now, this Trunks story was so great. I just liked the look of Trunks when he first came back and beat uh, Frieza. When he first came, when we first met him. And then in the Cell Saga as well, when he had the longer purple hair and stuff. I thought he looked really cool. He lost all his muscle mass. He lost his cool gear. I thought his gear that he wore in the original series and his jacket and everything looked way better. So for me, I'm actually looking forward to playing more of the original Trunks and Super Saiyan Trunks than I am the G or the uh, Dragon Ball Super ver variation. Ultra Instinct Goku looks gorgeous. Haba Frost. Like, just looking at these, really... As cool as Toppo looks, I would have liked if that was purple and not red. It's cool, but one of my favorites that I've seen so far, this ultimate, with all three of them, all those colors. Oh my goodness, I just got to rewind that again and let's slow it down a little bit because that looks absolutely gorgeous. You get the triangle danger beam, all three of them in explosions. I just love all the colors. You get in the red. You're getting the blue and the gold. Like, that just looks so good. Like, this is going to look so good in 4K and in 1440p, whatever your monitor or TV can handle. Like, oh, absolutely stunning game. That looks cool. Super Saiyan 2 Kaba. Not really interested in... I'm not interested in a lot of the universe outside of, like, Jiren, Toppo... And the wolf guys, I'm not really too interested in a lot of the uh, other characters. I'm also surprised we didn't see Champa as a playable character yet. I'm guessing he'll be maybe be DLC as well. There's actually quite a few characters that I'm surprised didn't make the base roster. Just looking great. So Kid Goku's here thing, it's, it's not a super dragon fist. So is this like an Ozaru fist? It looks really cool. I'm wishing other variations of Goku, adult Goku, had that because that looked really cool. I kind of like that better than Dragon Fist just because of the blue coloring. I think that looks really great. Um, not so interested in Brawly so much. Little played out. Cooler looks pretty cool. I'm really, I really love the look of Metal Cooler though. And his explosions getting that green color, that like turquoise color there. Oh absolutely gorgeous aqua whatever you want to consider that but let's get back to super oh oh it's coming up after android 13 looks so cool look at that i'm not as crazy about this form do his beams still stay red yeah they do stay red okay i wasn't sure if they'd change color Super Garlic Jr. Junior, sorry. That looked really cool. I thought that was a cool ultimate. Dr. Wheelow, kind of indifferent about. Looks kind of neat, but I like the red. I like the explosion there. Lord Slug. I have never been crazy about, but it's cool we also get his giant form. That explosion looked badass. Turles is pretty cool. Let's see. This? Oh, that animation right there and the purple, the coloring, everything. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm not a Turles fan, but this ultimate looks awesome. Uh, just so cool. Bojack, I like his coloring. Full power Bojack, I don't think looks as cool, but I like the color of his beams. His electric buster there, very cool. And these guys, not as cool. I like his sword, his sword attack. That looks pretty cool. Wow. And of course, 
Our man, Super Gogeta Z. Mm. Boom, the magical rainbow attack. <laughs> I always thought that was a weird attack, but I love the character. And of course, we get our Dragon Ball Daima Power Pull Goku coming as our final pre-order bonus. But chat, let me know what you thought. What do you think of these ultimates? What character that was revealed recently are you most excited for? Or what character in general are you most looking forward to playing? I personally really looking forward to playing Future Trunks from the Z era, not from the Super era with the purple hair, with the cool looking gear. I'm looking forward to that with the sword and everything. I'm definitely looking forward to playing as Gogeta, my man. Obviously looks like he's going to be overpowered. Um, I look forward to Super Saiyan 4, um, Vegeta, Gogeta, Goku. They all look pretty cool. I'm surprised we didn't get to see PyCon. Very, very surprised PyCon has not made the cut of the base roster and is most likely going to be DLC down the line. Uh, very, very surprised by that. But there are some badass reveals that we've had. I'm looking forward to Toppo, like God of Destruction, Jiren, Ultra Instinct Goku, obviously. I definitely want to see Ultra Ego Vegeta come to the game, hopefully sooner rather than later as DLC. Um, Teen Gohan, like as like before he went Super Saiyan 2, like when he's got the Saiyan armor when they were tra um, training in the time um, transformation chamber, I always liked that look um, of Gohan um, as a kid, so I definitely think that would be pretty sweet. Boo looks really awesome in this game, especially with his transformations. He looks like a fun character to play just in general. Um, but this roster, absolutely incredible. Of course, you know, I love my boy Raditz. Raditz is <laughs> underloved and underappreciated but always fun. Some of the variations of Gohan could be pretty cool. Obviously, I think Beast Gohan's probably going to be DLC. Same with uh, Orange Piccolo, because we haven't seen either of them, so I'm guessing they're also. Um, Jube, I think he'll be cool, fun to play. Um, but I mean, there's so many, so many characters in this I'm very much looking forward to. We've got Trunks here, one of the variations of Trunks, these three variations of Trunks. Definitely going to look forward to playing them, but we have to get the old school Trunks with the... Um, with the cool looking gear with the sword and everything else. So I'm hoping um hoping he's got some really cool ultimates and some cool supers because I love uh love the sword trucks, not from super, but again from the Z series. Anyways, sound off in the comments down below. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you have not already. And dubious ones, I will catch you all in the next one. That'll do it for this one. Deuces.